All right, guys, well, the project for today is going to be installing these safety chains onto this trailer. This is a uh, boat trailer I've been doing some work on, and we need a set of chains on it. Uh, safety chains are for when you're towing in an emergency if the ball uh, coupler, uh, filthy dirty, if the ball coupler uh, becomes disconnected, then the chains will hold the trailer to the back of your vehicle. You might kind of bang up the rear end of your vehicle a little bit. You might kind of beat up the front end of your trailer, but it'll keep your trailer from running off, you know, down the road without you. This is a light duty trailer. It's going to be hauling a very light boat. There's the boat out there. It's a very light aluminum boat. Um, so the chains that I'm going to put on it are similar to what I put on my last little John boat. These came from, uh, this is a class one brake strength of 2000 pounds. <clears throat> these came from Amazon. So this is going to be, you know, kind of a review on these Amazon chains. Uh, the last set that I got, very similar to this, I already cut the bag. Uh, the last set that I got were similar to this I got from Harbor Freight. I put them on a little John boat trailer and they work great. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Same thing again. I really like this little spring snap on these. It looks, uh, looks good on this one. Uh, spring on that one looks good too. So they're supposed to be... Uh, well, there's supposed to be four feet of chain here. Let's just go ahead and stretch it out and you guys will find out with me if that's four feet including the hooks or four feet besides the hooks. Sorry, I'm doing everything with one hand on the camera and one hand on the tape measure now. So I'm at the end of the hook and we're at four feet. Okay, so this is four feet total length from this end of the hook to the other end of the hook. <clears throat> so that'll give you guys an idea. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I think how I'm gonna do it, I haven't mocked it up yet, but I think I'm gonna go through this hoop here, which is welded to the tongue. I think I'm gonna go through that hoop, just like that, and I'm gonna put a link to connect the two around it. So if one chain, were to become, you know, somehow detached in a crazy wild, you know, accident or something. Uh, at least, you know, I, I don't want, if one chain comes unhooked, I don't want it to be able to pull right through. So I want to attach them. But I think I'm going to use, I try to keep stock on oddball stuff like this. Got some of these quick links from Harbor Freight. Um, looks like the one that I got is probably going to work is, uh, 3 16th size. So I'm gonna dig that out and get it on there and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, well, I hope you can see what I was talking about with that link there. Um, so now if one chain it becomes detached, I can still, you know, I've still got one chain to hold on. So, um, and to, uh, you know, to figure out where to put them, I just kind of held the chain out here, even pulled it up snug. Uh, work my link on there and then I tighten that link up with a wrench so that's it if you guys like this video click that thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this me working on this trailer or any number of other things click that subscribe button until the next video keep on tinkering